Are you fucking ready? Because I got a gift for you. Today, vegan mama. Today, the vegan arc. Today, I do not have vegans to trash on anymore, but instead, I have to dunk on a filthy carnist. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm about to spill some blood. I hope you all are ready. You thought you were coming here for a bunch of feel-good, uh, well, wait, no, feel-bad queer history, but I am going to go in on an anti-vegan. Dun 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 bum 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 Shoe on head. Oh shoe. Now listen. On a personal level, I think shoe is very, very nice. On a personal level, I have had nothing but uh, positive experiences with Shoe on Head, except for the time when Shoe on Head was mauling at me in Vosh's chat, and I called her out after ignoring her for 15 to 20 minutes um, because Shoe would not stop pinging me. But I got to talk about Shoe. And today, is the camera frozen? Oh my God, the camera's frozen. Oh my God, why? What is going on with this? Time to capitalize on the vegan discourse for engagement. Absent extenuating considerations, survival cost, health conditions, etc. Is killing an animal for meat morally different than bestiality? Explain your reasoning below. And then Shu responds, we are natural meat eaters. We are not natural animal fuckers. We bang our own species. There is no reason to bang animals except for being some kind of hedonistic freak. Oh, hey, look. Layman appeared. This is a naturalistic fallacy. Correct. But unfortunately, I don't think that fallacy mongering is... Uh, uh, fallacy mongering is the best way of going about these things. I just simply don't. But so I but but I would will point out that is indeed a naturalistic fallacy. So why don't we talk about this, huh? Because I talked about this the other day, but we're gonna go over it again. This is your log off siren. Mine. I don't know that this is really the best way to argue for veganism. Well, of course it isn't. This is never um but that's the thing. People don't engage in productive conversations about veganism, do they? It's okay. I will save you. Don't you worry. I will save you, okay, from the stupid takes. Today, I am the vegan, okay? I have bad news for shoe on head. Shoe. Animal fucking on a massive level is already done. Every single day. It is the only way that you get cheese on your pizza. It is the only way that you, uh, that you are able to have the food that you eat every single day. All of those of us who consume meat or consume animal products of any type, unfortunately, whether we like to think about it or not, are simultaneously supporting an industry that not only kills animals, but also fucks them brutally, horrifically. So I really wish that people would think, okay, for just a second before they open their mouths. And I want to ask Shu on head a question. I don't want to be super mean to Shu on head, but I actually, you know, hold on a second. I'm going to be a little mean to Shu on head. I'm going to be a little bit mean to Shu on head, okay? We are natural meat eaters. We are not at natural animal fuckers. We bang our own species. There is no reason to bang animals except for being some kind of hedonistic freak. Okay. Well. Well, shoe on head. What does that make you? Does that make you a hedonistic freak? I would argue that it does. Because by this... Do, you, do, do we... Have we forgotten how new animals are created? Have we forgotten how new animals are created to, to be ground up into meat? Have we forgotten the process by which we produce milk? You know that cows don't just magically produce milk, right? Like cows aren't a milk tree. 
cows, just like humans, produce milk when they have a baby. And what does that mean? Well, a, a, a small look, uh, a, a, a small look into the meat and dairy industry will reveal that we have armies of workers who manually impregnate cows. Listen, I, I'm telling you, if you don't want to be disgusted, never look in to the process of cow impregnation or horse impregnation, or goat impregnate. Just don't do it. You are really going to regret it. Do you think that they just like let cows go out in a field? Do, do you think that they... No, they don't. Uh, there is a... Uh, there's a thing on far that farmers use that's a glove that goes all the way up your arm. Do you know, you know what that's for? You don't want to know what that's for. You don't want to know what the glove that goes all the way up your arm is for. Okay? I can tell you, it's not for, uh, yeah, it's it's not for, uh, it's not for, or for petting them. Some of you do, because some of you have worked in agriculture. Some of you lived on a farm. Some of you have gone with this. Yeah. Up to the shoulder. Yes, cows are ritualistically almost. I, I keep saying ritualistically. I shouldn't say ritualistically. Systematically sexually abused to make your food possible. So when you say that we are natural meat eaters, well, that's not entirely true. Yeah, we naturally, uh, I guess you could say, if we're going to put aside the naturalistic fallacy, you could say we do naturally hunt animals when we need them. Um but animal agriculture is anything but natural, especially in the modern era. Animal agriculture involves the, like, uh, the unfathomable systemic rape of animals. Sorry, I hate to tell you this, but it's true. Have you ever seen, have you ever seen what fish spawning involves? Do you know, you know what they do, right? Like when, with fish spawning, like I had to learn this because I lived in a rural state and a lot of people worked in fisheries. I had to learn this. They squeeze the cum out of the fish. I'm not kidding you. When it's time, they squeeze the eggs and they squeeze the cum out of the fish. They just go, here, let me help you. And then they, they poke their dick and then they go. Bleak. I don't know about you, but that sounds like animal sexual abuse. I, I don't know. Like, I, 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 that sounds like animal sexual abuse. So, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yes, correct, gay fish. In fourth grade, I literally saw someone cut open a female salmon to get all the eggs, and yeah, then they squeeze the male. They squeeze the, the, the male fish to squeeze out the cum. I'm so glad I'm going to be taking down this VOD later. Not not on YouTube. It stays up on YouTube. It won't stay up on, uh, yeah. Uh, Capo says, even meat aside, winning racehorses are J-O'd, which is then sold for, for their jizz, which is sold for tens of thousands of dollars. Yes, no, that is true. And guess what? It's really funny even. You want to know what's really fucked? You want to know what's even more fucked? <laughs> you want to know what's even more fucked? They do it that way because they think they should be nice to the racehorses. What they do to the non-racehorses is even worse. What they do to the non-racehorses -race is really bad. So remind me why I'm supposed to care, though. If it's essential for the production of animal products, then I don't care. Because I think animal products are unethical. I think animal products are, by and large, horrifically cruel to produce. Like, horrifically cruel to produce. And, while I am not some sort of morally pure vegan, we all consume animal products every single day, it's almost impossible to avoid in our current society, no ethical consumption under carnism, as they say. Oh wait, is that what they say? I think that we should fight against these things and try to make a better world. Sounds like you care about animals in the same way you care about people. Yes, more or less. 
I, I, I do, basically. Yes. Even if somebody doesn't care about an animal, we don't like someone being cruel to animals just for fun. Of course. I value eating animals and animal products more than I care about animals. Well, that's that's your opinion, Vivian Wolf. That's perfectly, you're welcome to have that opinion. I don't. I think that that is, is not a good position personally, um, but that is where we are in disagreement. So, my argument against Shu um, is that this edgy uh, rhetoric completely backfires. And actually, wait, why should I value humans, animals equal to humans? Wait a minute. Okay, mixed Vivian Wolf. First of all, nobody says that animals are supposed are, are to be valued exactly equal to humans, just that they should be valued. Animals have memories. Animals feel pain. Animals can suffer. Animals have feelings. They are sentient creatures, with very few exceptions. I think you could make the argument that, that insects, because the insects don't actually have memory, they don't actually have, uh, they have nerve clusters instead of brains. Um, well, I mean, okay, listen, I, I, listen, 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 I think that you can make the argument that animals are equal to humans and they largely forget about it. No, that's not true. That's, that's not true. Vic, Mix Vivian Wolf. You're wrong about that. We have, we know that, we know that many animals don't forget about it. We know that animals are traumatized. That is simply not true. You are, you are straight up, um, uh, yeah, you're straight up just, you're, you're, you're repeating meat industry talking points to sound like an insufferable vegan. Um, Demon Mama, uh, Jail's, a uh, Jail's chicken says, good faith question here. What methods do we have to keep cows making milk without raping them? Will they do it as much as we require without all the raping? No, there is, there is no current way that you can make cows produce the milk that we consume without raping them. I'm sorry, but that is true. That is absolutely true. A lot of carnivore propaganda in chat, everybody. I'm feeling pretty bad about this. So it's necessary. Glad we agree. Next topic. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. I didn't think that I was going to be going up against a bunch of fucking, uh, fucking car actual unironic carnists. Milk isn't isn't a necessity. It's a luxury. We don't need milk. In fact, most of the world cannot even digest milk. Milk is actually kind of disgusting. I mean, I like milk and I like cheese, but there's listen. We'll we'll talk. We'll get there, okay? So if a few hundred people stop consuming meat products, will the demand go down? No. Uh, I mean, the demand will go down a little bit, but I don't think that con a consumptive approach is what matters here. I fucking love me some burgers. I ain't gonna hunt you down if you're being for if you're being vegan, but you're coming at us now, weedy vegan. What? Can you can you tone down the Brit speak? I don't know what any of those words mean. Oh, Vivian, I can't tell if you're for real right now. Oh my God. Is this real? This has got to be fake. This has got to be fake. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, you're unironically, like, wait, wait, Vivian Wolf, you do realize you're unironically being a carnist right now. Yeah, actually, every single, to be fair, in defense of the vegans, in defense of the obnoxious vegans, every single obnoxious vegan I've ever met was ripped, by the way, by the way. Yeah, you're unironically being a carnist. What's, hang on, what's the difference between a carnist and a carnivore? A carnist is somebody who's attached, is super attached to their meat eating as a part of an, uh, of an identity, as, as an identity. Yeah, I'm unironically being a vegan right now because vegans are correct, even though they're stupid. And even though vegan activism is annoying as shit, they're correct. They are correct. They're right. Animals suffer. 
We are animals. Animals have memories. And every single piece of data that we get shows that animals are deeply capable of not only remembering, but being traumatized, etc., in the same ways that we are, maybe to slightly different degrees. You don't think they are correct. Otherwise, you would stop eating immediately. No. Are you, are you fucking stupid? Jojo killer, for God's sake, stop being so fucking stupid. Oh, I'm starting to get mad. Oh, you wanted to provoke blood. You're going to get blood. You want blood? I'm going to get, oh, we're doing it again. But this time I'm the vegan. This time I'm the vegan. You all wish for it. Look, you're giving the vegans, you fucking idiot carnists are giving the vegans what they wanted. Role reversal. Look at that. Episode one of Vegan Mama. We barely got into the topic. Oh, we haven't even started yet. Oh, ho, 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 this is going to be good. How the turntables indeed. Is this a bit? Is Who's a bit? Is what a bit? What the fuck are you all talking about? Are you people stupid? I'm sorry. I'm going to get mad at chat. Did I, fr did I fry your brains? Did all of your brains get fried when I, when I, when I did the pride stuff? I'm, I'm actually, like, I know a lot of you were here yesterday. Did you just turn off your brains? Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna need to take a breather. I made all of these arguments literally yesterday. Not yesterday, Monday. Okay, here we go. Ready? All right, give me a second. Yeah, yeah, gay fesh by Vivian's by Vivian's shit ass argument. Yes, by sh by Vivian's argument, you should be able to fucking tie a rope around a cat and swing it around your head. You did indeed, Rivy. You did. Wise, wise choice. Icolo, I thought our skulls actually grew because we started eating cooked food. So we didn't need as large jaws and teeth. Hey, Icolo, you can cook vegetables. Is this, is this real? Is this fucking real? Think, imps, think! Abusing a cat is bad because you might abuse humans too? Is that like, is that Vosh's like, uh, manners argument, but repurposed for animals? Holy shit. This is going to be really funny. Some vegetables have some level of intelligence, though. No, they do not. Chat, I think my chat might be vegetables. At this point. I, I argued in favor of veganism, but I didn't think, I didn't think that you would all, that I didn't think that you would all literally turn into vegetables overnight. Mushrooms? What about mushrooms? I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually losing my mind right now. I don't believe that that's, uh, I don't, I, I, look, look, listen, 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 listen. This is so stupid. <sighs> okay. All right. You're not going to, you're not going to turn me into, a, I already am a carnivore. I'm just not a carnist like you. So I want to clarify that you're still fine with the consumption of meat, but only if it was produced ethically, only local animals. No, we're, do none of you people listen? Holy shit. I'm actually so disappointed. I'm actually so disappointed in my chat right now. I am actually so fucking disappointed. Did I know some of you were here yesterday? Am I a carnivore? Yes, I'm a carnivore. I don't want to be, but I am. Okay, hold on. 
We're going to take a... I'm actually getting really mad. Okay. So, meat eating is bad on about five different fronts. But let's handle... I, I don't always love getting mad, but I do like getting mad a little bit. I like I like decking dumb fucks. Um, so, do you admit that you're a speciesist? I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Jojo Killer, I'm literally about three steps away from banning you from my chat. You're, actu you're actually getting me angry. Can you fucking be clear with what you're asking or shut the fuck up? One of the two. Those are your options. Okay. So, let's talk about the ethical concerns, okay? We acknowledge that generally, inducing suffering in others is a bad thing. Why is this? Especially when it's with it, with, when it is without cause or when the cause is not valuable enough to justify it. I would argue that causing mass suffering and death requires an unbelievable moral justification. There has to be no other option. And I do acknowledge that in the wild, that uh, a human having to survive by killing an animal and eating it is basically unavoidable. I would never expect somebody, um, I, I would never expect somebody to, uh, to die in the name of not killing an animal. Okay? Like, I, I completely understand that, that I would never ask anybody to do that. Um, maybe sometime Q-Stick, but not right now. Um, and uh, the reason for that is because we would argue that um, if only we didn't live in the wild. Well, yeah, we don't live in the wild. It's, it's wild. Not only do we not live in the wild, but we live in a world where we can legitimately, we can genetically engineer rice that has essential nutrients that grows in it. That's how advanced we are. We are so past the need to eat meat. We are so past. And let me be clear with my argument. I do not believe that need is the only justification for doing something that is potentially uh, 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 negative or bad. Um, however, um, <clears throat> however, I don't think I like meat is a good reason to justify eating meat. Of course, lab-grown meat is very exciting. Yes, we can, but it's not, we're not, uh, I'm getting so distracted. Not, not only does meat necessitate violence, but, uh, but meat, uh, meat in its current form necessitates a disgusting holocaust. And I mean that, and I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. The, the, the things that go on in the meat industry are so atrocious. They're so disgusting. They're such an affront to everything that we value as a human, as humans in general, apparently minus the carnists in chat. Um, but, uh, but, uh, but, but, uh, oh, Zazzle Bedazzle with the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so very much. Holy shit, Zazzle Bedazzle. I really appreciate that. Thank you. It's not an exaggeration. Every single time, let me just tell you some of the things that these are facts, okay? These are facts, okay? We lock pigs in a, a, in a, in cages that are so tight that they literally cannot move. They live and die and suffer in their own shit and piss and in the shit and piss of their cage mates. They are, they get weeping open sores on their hooves that are never treated they will just be injected with vials and vials of cheap antibiotics to make sure that their meat doesn't have a a fucking carbuncle in it when it gets to the store they will be systematically raped often by humans not to mention the human cost of the meat industry i could go into that forever how humans are tortured by having to, by having to, because we know how, we know just how coercive uh, capitalism is, that there are mostly people of color, immigrants, who are forced to work into meat packing plants and slaughterhouses, 
where the psychological toll on humans from constantly engaging in that level of torture and mass murder, yes, PTSD in slaughterhouses is a massive problem. The reason why most carnists and I am using the term carnist here because I'm talking about the people who are like that. Um, the, uh, the, the reason why people are able to eat that, um, eat meat without thinking about it is because they don't have to see it because they don't know how bad it is, how disgusting it is, how many countless acres of land are literally destroyed with blood, piss, shit, flowing out from uh, literal cage complexes where animals cry and scream in perpetual agony. And yes, this is an emotional argument to a certain degree. But I think that it's an important one. We should confront the suffering that we are causing to decide whether it is worth the trade-off. No, this isn't just a pathos argument. I will not. I will not be pulling up any of this stuff on, on stream, okay? But what is justified by the meat industry is terrible. Now, I don't expect, I don't think that people are personally, like, morally bad. Oh, yeah, I could play the termitary. Yeah, I could. You're correct about the meat industry, of course, but this isn't a good argument against eating meat full stop, just against the meat industry and factory farming. My dad hunted. I grew up seeing and knowing exactly where my meat came from, and it never bothered me. Okay, that is that is fine. Let us talk about that. We should recognize. Now, it all depends. Now, a lot of this depends on your moral framework, but I would argue, because I am, by and large, a consequentialist. A, a utilitarian, I am in the utilitarian umbrella, I believe that reducing suffering in the world is important. And I believe that reducing suffering, not just of humans, is important. Because I don't think humans are the only thing that matters. Someday, we will be post-humans. Someday, we may encounter alien races. Right now, we have species on our planet that are perfectly capable of experiencing pain and suffering, but are just different than us. So I think it is very important as a utilitarian who values reducing suffering in the world, uh, especially needless suffering, that we should reduce animal suffering as well. Animal lives matter. I mean, I don't like that quote because I think that that is uh, not like that. That Listen, I don't like that. Um, so when, we're, when you talk about subsistent, subsistent hunting or subsistence hunting, okay? I understand how, on one level, it is not, um, uh, it is not, uh, um, when you think about subsistent far subsistence farming, it is not the same thing as, as what we see in the meat industry. And I would argue it's significantly better. If, if tomorrow we could make an agreement and you said, all right, you get to ban animal agriculture, but we get to keep subsistence hunting. I'd make that deal in a minute because it would change. It would make the world so much better. I would argue that hunting is better, but not good. Okay. And there's a reason for that because at the end of the day, hunting still requires you to cause great, potentially great suffering. You don't always kill an animal in a single hit. Often they suffer and die and dying alone is a pretty bad thing in my opinion. So I, do, I think that we should be critical about reliance on meat. And of course, obviously, I'm much more supportive of subsistence hunting than I am of the disgusting behavior of the meat industry. But let's be real. Most people aren't arguing for subsistence hunting, and subsistence hunting has its limits. Okay? Well, that's her fault, Vamfram. That is her fault. Come in, drop in hyperbole. You're going to get some back. 
but they are already hunted by other predators. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Um, do you think, uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry, Posadas John. Uh, last I checked, you aren't another predator. Are you a wolf or are we a human? Are you a human that's capable of, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, uh, uh alternatives of thinking or are you just a, a, a wolf? Now, a wolf, they have to. They have to eat meat. You, There is no other option for except for a wolf to eat meat. There is no other op. They, they literally, I mean, some wolves are, they're, they're meat eaters. They can't do anything else. They're not capable of it. Okay, why be vegan when my dinosaur-shaped nuggies taste good? Guess what? You can get them vegan style, Okay. I struggle to internalize the idea that a deer's suffering is meaningfully comparable to a human suffering, but admittedly, this might be my own bias growing up eating them. I'm not claiming this is objective and fact-based. Yeah, it isn't objective and fact-based. It's emotionally based. Um, yeah, a deer suffering is different than an animal than a human suffering, but we don't even know how. We don't know how. Like, we don't know how, how like, it's very hard to determine the uh, capability of suffering. There's a million different variables that go into it. And, I, and what, we, what we can do is we do know they suffer. We do know they think. We do know they have memories. We do know they're beautiful creatures that, that desire to live. They fight to keep, to stay alive. They want to stay alive. So maybe you could make the argument. Gromit is a prince with the 300 bits. Really appreciate that. Maybe you could make the argument that in your mind, you think that that's less. But I would argue that even if it's less or whatever, it's still important. And we shouldn't kill a living sentient creature without reason. Some of the personal attacks have been way over the line. Oh, shut the fuck up, Vivian. Holy shit. You literally came in and just started shit for no reason. And now you're getting mad that people are throwing shit back at you. Come on. Come the fuck on. You're literally, what are, what are you, what is your, are you on like a, like, what is this? Oh my God. Oh, I see. It's, it's the Vivian Wolf co victim complex hour. Okay. Why don't you, why don't you take a cool break and, and take a, get, get some cold water, catch your breath. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm chill. I'm chill. Totally super chill, Vivian. Totally chill. You're so chill. I've never met anybody more chill. It wasn't the vegans that started this one to be fair. The meat industry is bad. And your consumptive de decisions don't have a massive impact. However, they do help. Reducing your consumption of meat does reduce the demand. I don't think that people should put themselves into a position of suffering, of great suffering, in order to stop eating meat. I think that we should address meat eating on a institutional level. We should address the fact that there are disgusting abuses in the in the uh, in the way that meat is done. That meat is subsidized and supported by a massive, massive corporate network that literally influences our politics in order to perpetuate their profits at the cost of a mass killing and mass suffering of animals. And the thing is, we're lucky. Humans, we have many choices. We are, are omnivores and we can get the vast majority of, our, of, of all of our necessary um, nutrients without eating any meat whatsoever. You don't have to. We can get it. And yeah, sometimes it's a little harder. <clears throat> VM Draco says, I don't understand this concept that because they don't feel the same pain or emotions, that makes their pain unimportant. To them, they are still experiencing pain and are probably terrified. To me, a horse with a lame leg is suffering to a severe level, even if they don't have a human concept of pain. Pain is pain. It's not a concept. Context. Contest. I speak from a biased perspective as a vegetarian, but I would hope people with compassion would show empathy towards creatures they don't, that don't look like us. No, it's really funny. The types of people, the types of people who unironically um, defend like meat eating and and shit and and the suffering of animals that sit there and do that they're the same type of people that in that like ten, like a couple uh a, like a couple generations ago would have defend would have been defending slavery because oh well they just don't feel it like we do they don't feel it like we do those people don't feel it like we do 
It literally is the exact same argument. Just so you know, that is the exact same argument that was made to justify slavery. I'm not fucking kidding you. And also, it gets even worse because, yeah, the other, not like us. Exactly. What about aliens? What if we meet aliens that are different than us or they communicate in ways that are different than us? Do we just toast them just because, oh, maybe they'll taste good? What about, what about if we develop sentient AI? If we develop sentient AI, do those sentient and sapient AI deserve rights? I would argue yes.